Ann Ron, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads, and I'm gonna show you a very, very simple necklace that anyone can do. A great thing for young and old alike as you head out of this summer season. Keep in mind, you can do this with a number of different materials, but if you need any from us, we have links below the video in the description to purchase from us online at potomacbeads.com as well as .eu. So to start out with the design, you have a toggle or a loop or a bar. It can be a simple open ring, it can be a toggle, something that's a little bit larger that you're gonna take your strands through. I'm using the toggle and I'm just gonna push the toggle bar off to the side. From here, I'm gonna take two pieces of Chinese knotting cord. I have three feet in both pieces and I'm doubling them over, making sure that my ends are equal on both sides. When I do that, I'm gonna take my cord here through the loop on my toggle. If you do not have a toggle and you just have a fun ring or a decorative ring, you can take it right through the ring. Separate out those two loops and take the toggle right through that loop. When you give a tight pull, that'll do a little knot getting those cords in place. What we're gonna do now is go down to the bottom of the piece and figure out how long you want these water flowed, waterfall strands to hang and add some beads at the very end. On this very simple design, the one thing that you need to make sure is that all of these beads will fit through that you're using through the loop. So if you're using a donut bead, if you're using a toggle, you wanna make sure that all the beads that you're using will fit through the loop. You're going to take the strands and put a bead on each and simply tie a knot at the very end of the cord to hold on the bead. Now you need to remember that whatever cord you're using, your beads need to fit over that cord. I have a dome bead here, eight millimeter faceted gemstone, a rectangle and a drop. Now what I'm gonna do is pick this up and show you how it's going to be worn and wear it. You're going to take your loops and basically put it on around your neck. And then after you put it around your neck, you're gonna drop the beads through usually one at a time through that loop of the toggle. When you have all the beads then through the toggle here on this nice simple lanyard, you will wear it and the beads will look like they're falling right through that toggle loop. Now you can make them different lengths and different sizes beads. You can do all the same size bead, it's kind of up to you. Once you put on the lanyard necklace, then you can see that you can play around with the lengths that both the lanyard hangs as well as the beads. So you can simply push a bead up if you want it a little bit shorter tie the knot underneath it, and then take your scissors and trim it down right below the knot to that level. So easy, so simple, and gets that nice lanyard look and that easy kind of water flowing effect. You can do lots of different strands. You can have fun with it and create different colors. And check out all of the different rings that we have at Potomac Beads that you can use for this. Not just the toggle loops, gemstone donuts, anything basically with that loop. Keep in mind, if you do need it to go over your neck, you are going to need it long enough that the threads go over your neck, or you need the beads to fit through that loop in order to take it on and off. As always, even with the simple ideas like this, we are happy to have you give a thumbs up. Comment below if it helped give you ideas or if you want to pass on some more ideas, as well as subscribe to this YouTube channel for regular updates from us here at Potomac Beads. As always, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully this gave you a couple ideas for this simple lanyard necklace.